Hello and welcome viewers. This is Ali Debaj from JobSkillShare.org and in this IT support interview question video 2 we're going to discuss about another topic that recruiter might ask to you after you explain the difference between the domain machine and the client machine that is the part of work group. Then he may further ask you about how the, you can differentiate between the user account, the local user account, and the domain user account. So before it gets started, let me highlight you some short answers that might be helpful for you in answering to any recruiter on these questions. Let's say if the recruiter asks you to tell me about the difference between the local user account and the domain user account. So you have this answer, you can reply quickly in just short sentences. Let's say the first one, it allows to access local machines. I'm going to show you in the following video that how these accounts are useful to access local machines. Then in contrast, it allows the domain user account allows to access domain environment. Likewise, these accounts are mostly created in work group environment, but the domain user accounts are useful in domain environment. Then the local admin account can be used to apply security policies. And in contrast, the domain administrator can centrally manage security policies of these accounts. And another point, local security policies console, which later I'm going to show you where you can access it, is used to implement restrictions such as password policy and there are so many other. As well as the group policy object is used to trigger various security and permission access policies. And if we follow another answer, a quick and one line answer is what network connection is not required to log on these accounts. So this is the key difference you're going to find that when you have the local user account, you don't need network access to log in on that machine. But unlikely in the domain user account, if you don't have the network connection, a standard network connection from your client machine to the domain server, you cannot access this machine unless you attach network cable or get access to the network. So these are the quick answers you could memorize and later on this video, I'm going to explain each and every point and this answer in a practical example. So let's start this topic with some practical examples and what are the advantages and the disadvantages and what are the major difference in between those accounts and how we can create local user account and how we can create domain user account. So here I have practice labs machine and you can see if I click here to connect so here it is the login screen and right now this is the user account that is the local user account so how you can judge and how you can understand that which account is working so right now this machine already joined the domain and the domain is what the practice labs.com so when you have the machine that joined already joined the domain and you want to log in the domain user account you will see this information below that tells the sign into that domain so if you start typing the domain user account let's say Matthew Brinstein so I have this account Matthew Brinstein and I am going to log in it so the information you will find below is to what sign into practice labs and here if you type the password it will log in you to the domain account because you found that the below it is written sign into practice labs.com but in the same machine you are logging on the domain user account and this domain user account is created on the server it is not created in this machine it is created on the domain controller the, the machine that is controlling the whole domain have that account and let me show you where this account is created and how you can create that account so if I want to log in on my domain server you can see the practice lab is written and then backslash administrator though so it tells what that you are about to log in in the administrator of the practice labs.com so let me log in here and actually when you log in into the domain server you will see what you will see active directory 
options, this server dashboard, and this server dashboards play a vital role in creating things, in managing things, in just adding restriction, in defining policies, in adding restrictions to your workstation. So here, if you don't find this dashboard on your Windows Server operating system, so no problem, you can click to the start window and you will find the server manager here because it is the server and it needs some managing application that manage the server and that provide services to the client. So we are talking about how to create domain user account. So when you are on the server manager, you only need to click tools and select this Active Directory users and computer. So once you click here, it's gonna open the Active Directory users and computer console for you. And it's gonna look like that. And here you're gonna find your domain and under the domain, you're going to find your containers, your sections, other different sort of logical boundaries. But that is not the part of this video. You here are here to create the domain user account. So you will directly click to the user and here you, you're going to find the list of users. So here at this point, if you want to create domain user account, you will simply click here on this icon or you can right click to the user and hover your mouse on new and came here to the user. And simply, it's gonna open this dialog box and you can create any user like PLAPS. And then go to the user logon name and type the same PLAPS and then click next. And remove the check from user must change the password at next logon and click to password never expires and type the password. So simply, you did what? you go to your domain server and where you access the server manager and from there you open the active directory users and computer and then you create this user now this user can be useful and you can log in with this user only on the machine that is the part of domain so let's say this plab win 10 is the domain join machine and i want to log in on the plabs my new user on the practice labs on the domain so what I need to do is just simply log out from the previous user and here I'm gonna click to the other user and let's see here I'm just typing plabs the user logon name and then the password and it will log in this machine to where on the practice labs domain but what if I want to log in on my local user account now you need to understand what is the difference between the local user account and the domain user account. So as you can see, and you have seen in the video, that for creating domain user account, you need server, you need domain server, and the server manager, and the active directory users and computer section. But if you wanna create the local user, like in your personal machines, in your homes, so you definitely you won't have this active directory in your homes in your personal computer so how could you create it you just simply connect with your personal machine with the administrator account because this administrator account automatically generates once you install the windows operating system and this account have all the rights and permission to create any local account now this local account as compared to the domain user account have huge differences these local account let's say here let me show you first how you create the local account then we will talk over this so there are certain ways to create the local account in the local machine and the fastest and the quickest way in terms of GUI you can right click on the start and directly open what computer management and here on the computer management it's easy to create the user and here everything is just quick and fast for you to do because there are other ways to go from the control panel and there you can also create but we use this control panel to manage these local user account but here if you want to quickly create the local user account you should use computer management now here in the computer management you should click to the local users and group and you will continuously see the local word 
with the users you're creating in your machine and simply right click here click to the new user and you can name it plabs2 and repeat the same name here in the full name plabs2 and the password and remove the check from user must create change the password and click to the password never expires and then click to create now you can see there is an addition of another user account and it is what it is the local user account so this user account can be logged in on any machine where there is no domain or if you want to access any machine locally without domain you should use local user account and mostly in our homes mostly in our work group environment we use this local user account feature to create multiple user for the single same machine and what provide how this local user account helpful for the user let's say for example you have single machine and you have multiple users of that machine but they all want to customize their setting let's say they want to change their desktop they want to create different shortcuts on their desktop and there are certain other reasons that in this way you can say they want to customize for their own use they want to personalize their own environment and they have some files on their desktop and they don't want to be anything wrong with, the, with those files let's say the administrator account have some specific files on his desktop and he won't he don't want to give hand over this administrator account to the other user because if the other user gets the administrator account they can easily delete any file they can uninstall any program and feature they can disturb the network settings and configuration so this local user account helps you to create a simpler environment a logical environment within the same machine and how you can manage those local user account through control panel simply type the control panel and then go to the control panel and here you're gonna find the portal the console you could say the user account manager and here you can see the user accounts once you click on the user account it will list out all the user accounts you have so further click to the user account and this is the administrator and this administrator account have all the access to manage user and then here you can you can click on the manage another account now here you can start seeing all your local user account and from here you can manage and you can allow disallow things you can restrict you can even set some permissions for any account here and when I click on that local user account you can see the options here you can change the name you can change the type of account and here it is password protected you can also provide it the administrator rights so once you provide this administrator rights this account able to do some administrative stuff like changing settings deleting system files and adding programs changing any specific configuration on any program but if you stay with the standard if you provide the standard rights to this specific local user account so it can only use the software and change some little settings but it won't affect the other user or the security of this PC so every time when we have this separate users there is a concept of security that's why we divide things we create multiple accounts for multiple users so here on the control panel you can change the account type and one major difference you're gonna find while managing local user account that the local user account can be managed by what local security policies it's a little similar to the group policy likewise in the group policy we have templates I'm gonna show you later first let me show you this local group policy because it contain the word locals that means it manage the local machine it manage and it have all the templates which you only need to turn on which you only need to enable to provide this feature to this local machine so let's say if you explore the account policies and you wanna set some password restriction for every user so currently it is set to 42 days and currently there's no template is being enabled 
so you can set the policies for the local user for the local machine so it works in that way and your standard local user enable to access this local security policies he can add it and manage those policies because that account is local user account doesn't have this permission and rights to access these options right and one more thing that when you create another local user account it takes a space from the same hard drive where your operating system is installed let me show you if you go to the file explorer and go to the C drive you will find a separate folder for each user account and if I go to the C drive and click to the user so you can see that each user account have its folder because I didn't log in the PLAPS yet that's why you you're not seeing any folder for that user account but when I log in first time it will create the whole folder and that contain what like the desktop the documents of that folder so the administrator can easily access their files and their stuff by opening their location in the C but each user account can access the other user account and let me show you let's click to the all control Dell and what we have to do is type dot backslash plaps and the password and there you go it's gonna log in us to where on the local user account the standard access account where you don't have so much permissions and privileges but you can still use the machine you can still use the internet and features like other softwares but you cannot add and remove any feature any software even you cannot access the local security policies so this account is useful to provide access to any guest or any basic user now there you go you'll log in to the local user account and if I click to the file explorer and just locate where all the users are store so here you can see that we have three folders here the plabs the account we are using right now this is the local and these two are the domain so if I want to access the atmosphere account I have no permission if I want to access the Amberstein account no I have no permission why because this is the local user account and it does not have this level of permission to access other users stuff but if you log in with the administrator account you can access any of your user from the location so this is the difference between the local user account and now let's come straight to the domain user account so let me sign out from the local user account and change the view a little now if you want to log in on the domain user account so if the machine is already a member of domain a client in the domain so you will see that automatically you need to just type the domain user account on the username box and it will automatically log in you to domain but as I told you in the beginning that to log in on the local machine the local user account you need to use dot backslash right right now we're about to log in plabs and the password this is the user I created in the domain server now this user that I'm just about to log in the plabs is the domain user account so the domain user account is continuously monitor and whatever the actions whatever the system alerts are generated are continuously goes to where the domain server that's why we call it the domain server the domain controller because it is it has the king power it manages all the client it always watchful to the activities of the client machines and it also manage and view the logs of every machine in the domain so that's why it become the domain server the domain controller and these are the client machine so this is the user account but in the domain the local account is what in the machine but this user account is where in the domain so here you can also access the resources but all the security policies restrictions permissions are managed from where the domain controller you cannot manage the policies the GPO 
let's say you want to customize your desktop so if your domain controller by using the group policy restrict you this user let's say the domain controller restrict plabs that you don't have rights to change the desktop wallpaper so this specific plabs user cannot see the options to change its wallpaper and if the domain controller restrict this plab account that you cannot customize your taskbar let's say you want to change its location want to pick the taskbar let, right now it is locked if you unlock and you want to change the location of the taskbar to the right so if you haven't any permission from your domain controller you cannot even do this and it will lock your lock the taskbar option so if you right click so you will find it in that way like this cascade windows option it is great you enable to unlock your taskbar so in this level everything is controlled and managed by the domain server and the system administrator is there to manage your properties you manage your policies let's say the password policies are the most important one where you are tapping password and your password is not accepting on the domain server why because you need to follow the rules and the requirements of the password that are already set by the domain controller so these are all the things in the domain user account are managed by the domain server by the domain controller and each time when you log in on the domain user account your password and username goes to the domain server once your domain server authenticate validates your password and username then you will start seeing the desktop so there is a total security and you must have network coverage from your client machine to the domain server if you don't have the network coverage let's say your ethernet cable is not attached to your laptop to your machine so you you will not able to log in on the domain user account in that situation you need to log in on the local user account or in the local admin account so this is the difference between the domain user account and the local user account that without internet without the network not the word internet without the network you can still have access to that machine if you are using local user account but if you have the domain user account so you cannot access the features and that account without having a proper network connection so this is the major difference and the local group policy is not applied to the user domain user account here the group policy takes its place and restrict and trigger any sort of restriction let me show you if you go to the domain controller and go to the tools so there is a panel there's a console of the group policy management and from here you can manage all the users all the machine in the domain so all the user account of the domains are managed by the group policy from here but in contrast in the beginning you have seen that in the local machines where we don't have the domain the active directory what we have the local security policies so the local security policies is applicable and useful in the local machines in the local environment in the work group environment and the group policy is useful and needed in the domain environment and both are providing the fashion to control users so what I say about the domain user account it is a limited framework for the machines so the employees the user in any corporate sector in any organization can use resources for just a production so if they have a leisure time if they're free and they start to, to just play with the things like downloading huge files and misuse the resources so that is not recommended in any corporate sector that's why this active directory the domain controlling concept is really helpful in managing whole environment in a very technological way so that's it for this video and what i said in the beginning then i will repeat that again to learn it skill do log on to the job skillshare.org where we have plenty of videos related to it skills related to networking and support skill so that's it for this video thanks for watching